Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Automation, where it is a special show on the channel that talks about smart home products, tips and tricks, and more. So today, we are going to talk about our new gaming area because we have got a new TV as well as Yi Lies. And this is why we are here to talk about how you can actually make your living room in a studio or in an apartment into a great entertaining and gaming corner. Now, for those of you who have followed our channel for a while, you might actually recall that this is the area where we used to do reviews of gadgets that came into our office with a table right in front and there's a couch right here. Now that this couch is missing, it is actually just right there, but we basically just remove it just for the purpose of the shooting, all right? So basically, there's going to be a couch right here and this table right here, we have our keyboard, mouse and our PS5 controllers right there. And this entire setup, as you can see, this is a really cheap 200 ringgit IKEA table. Uh, we have my PS5 here and my gaming PC over there. It's a 12th gen Core i7 PC fitted in an ITX casing. And this is the Hisense U7H 4K ULED TV. It is a really great gaming TV. It has a 120Hz refresh rate and it's really reasonably priced at just 3,500 ringgit. But today, we're not going to talk about all these devices that we have right here, but we're just going to focus on these two things. The ELIT LE Light Strip Pro as well as the ELIT Gaming Panels. Now, let's start off with the Yeelight LED Light Strip Pro. Now, initially, I did have thoughts of sticking the entire table with this LED light strips, but thankfully, I didn't take the chance because I only have a 2 meter version of the Yeelight LED Light Strip Pro. So, based on this 65 inch TV, as you can see, I only managed to cover the top part of the TV, which I think still looks pretty cool. By the way, you can still extend this LED light strips if you want. As you can see, there's a connector right over here, so you can buy some additional light strips to just connect right over here and to fill up the entire TV frame. But in my case here, I did not extend this LED light strips and that's because I have the GV Vu RGB light bar that we featured in the previous episode of Automation right on the back here. So that covers the bottom part of the TV already. Now, the Yeelight LED Light Strip Pro is very simple to set up. You basically stick it around your TV or your table and there's a controller right on the right side of the TV right over there that stick right behind, which is why you can't see it right now. So you basically just press a button and it turns on already. Aside from having RGB lights surrounding my TV, I also wanted a more immersive experience when I game or watch movies, which is why I have Yeelight's gaming panels installed right on the top here. Now, I know they might look a bit familiar to another more expensive brand out there, but I guarantee you it actually has more features than the other brand. And let me tell you why. Let's start off by talking about the controller. Now, I'm just going to take it out right here. As you can see, I do not need to turn it off to show you guys. Now, there are several interesting features right here, which includes the power button that turns on and off the gaming panel, there's an M button that lets you switch between different colors. The S button basically lets you change between different lighting styles. And by pressing the music note button, it basically uses the controller's built-in microphones to create a rhythmic lighting effect. Another unique feature of this controller is a 3.5mm audio port which directly takes audio from an audio source and create a rhythmic lighting effect which is why Yeelight has also included a U-shaped 3.5mm audio adapter with two different inputs and outputs. So one is for accepting the audio source and the other one is for outputting back to a speaker. Next, let's take a look at the configuration of these two smart lights. And I'm going to start off with the Yeelight LED Light Strip Pro, which I've named it as TV Light Strip in the app here. Now, you get six recommended presets here, which is pretty standard with any Yeelight. So uh, you get to switch between sunset. This is how sunset looks like. It looks a little bit dim. Let's head on to birthday party. It's, it's a little bit of orange. And if we head on to movies, it will go to a purplish light, like you see on the gaming panels right now. So I'm going to set it to maximum brightness so you can see how good the effect really is. So we have white color effect. This is basically cool white or we can go over to extreme warm white color. Uh, you have 16 million of colors to choose from based on this color palette. So if I set to green color, yeah, this is how it looks like. And we even have a flow mode where the colors will keep circling around different colors, which is a very, very cool effect. Next, let's take a look at the gaming panels. Now, as you can see, there's only two tabs right here, which is the recommend tab and color tab, which is kind of weird because I was expecting to have a lighting style tab that's within the app configuration, which at least just give me the music flow tab like I have 
on the Yeelight LED Light Strip Pro, but it's nowhere to be found within the configuration setting in the gaming panel section. Now, even if you go to the more options here, you only get this super cool color picker, which you can just pick a color based on any object that you see within your room, which is something that's really cool. But otherwise, the recommended preset settings is very limited right here. And even the more options tab here, you really do not get a lot of configuration. So in most cases, you will need to just head on over to that control over there, press the style button to change between different lighting styles. So yeah, I think that's something that Yeelight will need to fix in a future software update if they manage to do it. So what kind of lighting automation did I do on these two lights? Well, it's pretty simple. Now notice that I have two Yeelight R1 R900 lights on top of me, which are now off, which is the reason why they are turned on right now. And when these gaming lights are off, this Yeelight R1 R900 will turn off, which means game time is over, it's time to work. And I achieved that by using the same feature within the Yeelight app and configure Siri shortcut. So I can simply just use Siri to say that, hey Siri, it's time to work. And there you go, my Yeelight R1 R900 turns on and the gaming panels and the LED light strip turns off. And when it's gaming time, hey Siri, it's gaming time. And there you go, they turn back on. So this is how my configuration looks like in the app. So let's head on over to gaming time here. So you can see that I've already added this scene into a series shortcut. And when it comes to device management, this is the actions that I have done for all these lights. And it's really, really simple to configure it for the first time. Now, it is a shame that the Yeelight app doesn't have the if this, then do that feature. Otherwise, it would have made this a lot more simpler because I would have really wished that if I turn off the Yeelight R900 by using a remote or by using my phone app, this lights automatically turns on instead of using Hey Siri all the time. So yep, that basically sums up on how I have spiced up my gaming area with these Yeelight Smart Lightings. They are really great products and I highly recommend that you go check them out in the link below. So as for now, thanks for watching this episode of Automation. Do let me know your thoughts in the comments below and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos coming up on the channel and as well as more episodes of Automation coming right up. I'll see you guys in the next one.